first bro draft. Hey, everyone's excited. Everyone's playing draft. Everyone's drafting. Okay. So pack one, pick one. We've got Death Bloom Ritualist. Add X man of any one color where X is the number of creatures in your graveyard. We've got a Cinder Maw, Sereth Seeker, um, No Fancy Lands, Icker Wellspring, Third Path Iconoclast is interesting. Um, I don't know. I say we just take the uh, rare and see what comes next. Next up, we have an Altar of Dementia. Sacrifice a creature, target player, mills cards equal to sacrifice creature's power. We also have a Metamorph, a Keeper of Cadence. Um, third Path, Depth Charge. Levitating Statue is interesting. Um, I think we take Altar of Dementia, though. That's pretty good. Ooh, Blow of Knowledge. Lots of blue getting through so far. Keeper of Elsewhere Flask is great. Uh, Power Stone Fracture is interesting. When it dies, it mill four cards. Target player mills cards equal to sacrifice creatures power. So that's interesting. We could do something like uh, this Rust Goliath here. Although this pseudo bone splinters is interesting as well. 10 10 with reach and trample, or a 3 5 with reach and trample. It's not too bad. Let's, let's take it. Let's do it. We've got a Burnished Heart, which is great. Search your library for two lands. Takasia's Dig Site. Gorging War Plow, which is really cool. Um, we've got another Rest Goliath. Machine Over Matter. Uh, burnished Heart or War Plow are kind of where I'm looking take flight is interesting dwarven forge chanter a one three for two with ward pay two life and prowess if we had taken that um um if we had taken the first pick Soldier Maker, that would be very good. Artifact spells you cast cost one less. We're taking that hands down. Um, we've got a Prowler here, which is interesting. Oh, I thought we didn't take it there. This, this has been like slightly buggy so far, and it's freaking me out. And now it's not giving me the packs that are waiting. There we go. Astral Cornucopia. XXX. Enters with X charge counters on it. Tap. Choose a color. Add one mana of that color for each charge counter. Meh. Protection from multicolored. Whenever a non-basic land enters the battlefield under opponent's control, you gain one life. That's kind of interesting. Uh, but I think we go Infiltrator because we're going to be sacking, hopefully, to Altar of Dementia. Um, we do need stuff like weld. We also need some cheaper creatures. Okay, that didn't add the card to my file. Hello? What is going on? This is terrifying me right now. So like 
server lag or whatever is happening. I hate it. Make it stop. Please. Please make it stop. Okay. Guy beside me's got a pack. Gonna get one here in a second. So far, we're not really color committed. Scrapwork Rager is very good. This is the pack before our wheel. Also, Power Plant Worker is good. We kind of just want cheap creatures, though. And we're also kind of half on this weird mill plan. Yeah, let's take the honor guard. Uh, there's a second honor guard. That's not bad. This figure, though, is the play here, I think. Um, Skull Flare is an interesting pick. Hmm. Tough. I think we take the removal. For now. That was our wheel pack, so this is new. Six mana, five, five with trample. Or we do three mana, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. Trench stalker. That's tough. I think we take the locust. Because a lot of these are going to wheel. Actually, Gix's Caress might be interesting. Dementia wants creatures, though. So I think we... Emergency Well wheeled. Nice. Also, Giant Growth is good. Actually, if we Giant's Growth and then... Sacrifice it... Um, we could take another Rusk Goliath or a Stalwart. Let's take a Stalwart. Paul Bear and another Razor Maw. Okay, so no one's playing green coming that way. And we get a toy maker whenever you cast a beast or bird creature spell, you may copy it. Except that copy. Do we have any beasts or birds? We have two beasts, no birds. We do have alloy animist and a millstone. And then down here, we've got skull flare disciple. Thanos is interesting. I think Millstone is great. Um, I do think we missed out on the... Skull Flare last round. So I'm going to take it now. Unwinding Clock is huge. Huge. Excavation, create three tapped Power Stone tokens. Gain three life is also big. Um, oh boy. Haywire Might is also good. Hmm. Opportunist is good. We could get a second Infiltrator too. Combat Trick. This is a good pack. Um, I think because we are, we've got a lot of artifact creatures, we're going to take the unwinding clock. I 
Like Harvester is fantastic for us right now. Thraxo Demon's good. This figure's also good. A second one of those isn't going to be bad. Steen Talisman. Mitra's Juggernaut is a red. And just the battlefield create a tapped Power Stone token. Gaia's Gift, put a 1-1 counter on target creature you control. It gains reach, trample, hexproof, indestructible until end of turn. Okay. Um, I do kind of like the idea of Spectral Sentinel. If we're just going artifact creatures focused. Um... Drake is interesting. Put up to two, one target card from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. Confrontation is also good. Would I rather have Dreams of Steel though? I think I would rather have Dreams of Steel and Oil. Spring Leaf Drum, tap an untapped creature you control, add one man of any color. Another War Plow. Mine Worker, Evolving Wilds. Razor Maw, no. Hoarding Recluse, maybe. Reach and Death Touch. And it will take something down with it. I think we just take the War Plow here. Ornithopter's great. Uh, it's not great for our altar. Boulder Branch Golem. Prototype for four. When it enters the battlefield, gain life equal to its power. That's not terrible. Uh, supply Drop, Mine Worker, Dredging Claw, Ravenous Gigamole, Curate. Man, I wish we could play Curate. I mean, I'm going to take Dissident because this, this card's really powerful and we might be able to splash white. I haven't seen any lands. A Millstone or... I mean, let's just take the millstone. If we're going the mill plan anyway. Um, I think we take the opportunist here. More bodies. We already have 24 cards. We haven't put anything in our sideboard yet. We haven't picked, we haven't had to pick anything that we're immediately just like, no. Um, I think Clay Revenant is also really strong because we can just continuously sack it, right? Okay, guy's gift is good. Um, Trench Stalker. I don't think we're ever going to draw two or more cards. I think we'll take the gift. It is an instant, right? Yeah. Not the best. Epic Confrontation Wield, which is good. But so did Moment of Defiance. Um, let's take Epic Confrontation. Take Prowler here. It's a little bit cheaper. Another Stalwart. Pack three, we open a Lauren. Very good card. There's also another third path iconoclast. That would have been great. We would have had two of those. Splitting the power stone. This isn't a great pack for us. Um, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It costs three less if it targets a creature with mana value three or less. So it'll cost two mana to return something from the graveyard to the battlefield. 
Um, okay. I think we could also just take Lauren here and still keep that white splash in mind. Um, Iron Craw Crusher is a great pickup. Quicksilver Amulet. You may put a creature card from your hand. Actually, that's way too good. Four mana and I can drop these ten drops. Teething Wormlet is also really good. <laughs> Hopefully one of these green cards wheels. Everyone seems to hate green. Um, there's another dissident. Another golem. I don't want to splash too much white. So if we do splash any, I'd rather it be for stuff like dissident. Lauren's okay, but yeah. Bulwark is not a bad card either. I just think Dissident is going to pump our guys up. Mass production, liquid metal coating. Moment of defiance, another honor guard. Eight four one one colorless soldier tokens. Kill zone acrobat. Sacrifice another creature if you do against flying until end of turn. That's kind of lame. Um, I mean I don't really want any of these. I guess recommission is like sort of playable in our deck. Another mass production. Shoot down is good. It's four mana, but you can exile something spicy. Heavy consideration for another golem. Four mana, three, three, gain three. Yeah. Yeah. Chromatic Lantern. How is this pick six? Hello? Guys. Chromatic Lantern. I don't get it. Um, another opportunist. Uh, not too bad. I like opportunists for the um, altar because it's a three power. Another revenant is good. I should have taken that evolving wilds actually. Now we're getting our wheel pick. Cohort, another rust goliath. I mean, I say we take a second goliath. Just in case we get the um, amulet, Quicksilver amulet on board. Just in case. Nobody is taking any of the artifacts. They know this is an artifact set, right? My mana curve is going to be really... Uh, don't look up here. Ignore that. Ignore the curve. Please ignore it. <laughs> Last couple picks here. Another golem. We're taking it. So that's two golems and two goliaths. Three golems, actually. Wait. Weird. Um... Yeah, and then we have Unwinding Clock that'll untap everything. We have Quicksilver Amulet to place stuff for cheaper. Altar of Dementia to sacrifice stuff. Uh, take a Moment of Defiance. Do we have one of these yet? We don't. I don't know if we'll play it, but it is an instant. 
Dredging Claw. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we take Disciples. It's odd. We didn't see any dual lands. Perimeter patrol. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, it gets plus. I mean, sure. It's not a good card. Another moment of defiance. Okay. So black and green were super open. And our pack one, pick one was a black green duel. Very interesting. It's too small? Like, way too small? Oh, no. Because it's got no stretch? <laughs> Hold on, I have a small, small, uh, clothing emergency. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, where were we? We were making a deck and a green. Okay, so we're definitely, let's focus on our top priority artifacts. Why did they add white? Um, Goliaths, Golems, War Plows, Sentinel. 
So we have to play Lantern, we have to play Inspector, we have to play Amulet, we have to play Unwinding Clock. And then Altar and Millstone are our win cons. So that's easy. Then we need to play a fight spell removal. I mean, Infiltrator just works with our sacrifice plan. Um, Giant's Growth works with our altar plan. Blanchwood Prowler enters Mill's three cards and could become a 1 1. Gaia's Might is combat trick honor guard is i kind of wish we got more than one honor guard to be honest um those brown artifact cards are what we got in that starter kit as kids at least those border yeah so these are the throwback artifacts this card uh, style has been was changed in like 98 or something um i kind of wish we got more honor guards because it's got ward two so it's going to be hard to to focus on but it's also three power so our altar is going to make the mill three if we sacrifice it um so i think we play dissidents so let's just add 17 lands to this. Now we don't have the fun new ones. Um, but we do have the new basics. And we do have the space. The space ones are fine. Let's just add uh, white, black, green. green. Let's just go with Spacey Boys. Seventeen lands. We're at fifteen. Nine, six, and two. If we get Chromatic Lantern on board, that turns everything into any color which is good did we get any of that card that lets us search for any artifact i don't think this puts artifacts into the graveyard but we don't have a way to get them out of the graveyard we don't Oh, recommission. That mana value three or less. I think we play recommission then. Um. Then the question becomes. What aren't we playing? We probably aren't playing honor guard. We definitely want infiltrator because we're going to be sacrificing Ashnot's harvester is a good target for sacrificing um I think we can get rid of one Golem and one Goliath. And we can just see how this rolls for now. Uh, we should put a little bit more of a balance on the lands. So if we go to four and four, maybe. Four, four, and nine. We don't have anything else. I mean, Deathbloom Ritualist is good 
It is add any of one color. And we don't have like a crazy way to make a bunch of tokens or anything. So it's not like we're going to be adding 10 mana or anything. And it's a five drop. Do I have another way to win? Um, do I have another way to win? I think there's a world where we don't play gift and we play two opportunists and maybe one less war plow I think that works. Although I might just want to play 41 cards. A flying 2-1, two, a 3 mana 2-3 that gets bigger if I have 3 or more creature cards in my graveyard. Um, this puts 3 uh, artifacts into my graveyard, which I don't have any way of getting back other than recommission. Um, I want to play Moment of Defiance, but I'm also just like, I'm tapped out. Like, Millstone is worth the triggers more than it's worth the abilities. Lauren also lets us draw. Let's just let's just try this. Um, wind up war plow is what we're calling it. Uh, no, that's not good. Quicksilver or lose. No, we're just gonna call it Quicksilver. Um, our mana ramp is terrible, but a lot of these guys over here have the prototype ability, so we can we gotta change it to big robot dude, and we can play robot friend as our pet. And uh, gotta pick a good card sleeve for these. A robot centric card sleeve, please. Uh, oh God, I love this card sleeve so much. So good. Kamigo, so good. Robots. Little Onigiri Ninja. Um, Evil Ajani. We could do these two. They're unfriendly robot dudes. Now, do I not have any better robots? I could do like a retro or a. God, what are those called? Um,. Synth? Synth? No. Vaporwave. That's what it's called. Sheesh. Um, yeah, let's just do Mishra or Urza. Let's 
Let's do Urza. Oh god. That sounded so evil. Um, alright. Let's give it a try. The plan is to play Quicksilver and win. Simple plan, right? Simple plan. What a band. What a band. Alright. So we got all of our colors. We have a two drop and a four drop. Here. And a three drop. Okay, good. We're going to throw them off with our white. They're playing white blue. Okay. Phalanx Vanguard. Uh, whenever an artifact enters, Phalanx gets plus one, plus oh until end of turn. We draw our unwinding clock, which is great. Play a dissident. They play a wing commando. No blocks. Gixian Infiltrator, eh? Um, so we're going to play a Swamp. And then we're going to play an Opportunist. Uh, no attacks. Don't do it. Stop hovering over my thing. Black Blade Reforged. This guy's got prowess. Um. Okay, we'll trade there. Clay Revenant, that's good. What we really want to do is get our Golem online, though. So if we do prototype, auto pay, trigger here, gain a life, play clay revenant, comes in tapped, start doing some damage. This guy's going to get, he has to equip seven, oh boy. So next turn we play unwinding. Oh no. My boy. Ooh, recommission. Um, no land. So we've only got five mana. So I think we uh, confrontation and infiltrator. Um, no, let's save our, sorry game, jeez, let's save our recommission for something like unwinding clock, oh wait, we can't bring back unwinding clock, three or less, What do we have that's three or less? Uh, or altars only two mana? Millstone? Lantern? Disfigure? That's good. Um, so we're going to play Unwinding Clock. We're going to put a counter on our... Revenant? And then we're going to attack all. End turn. Untap our Clay Revenant because of Unwinding Clock. We've only drawn... We've actually drawn no lands this whole time. And they concede with Unwinding Clock on the board. Nice! 
So not our original game plan. Our original game plan is play Quicksilver Amulet and win. But backup plan, play Unwinding Clock and never let them attack. That was not bad. This, I mean, I played one game of this set and it feels fun, interactive. We've got a Revenant, an Unwinding Clock, a Warplow, no black mana though. I think we have a few two drops. We have one two drop. Um, I think we can keep this. We have a 44% chance of drawing a land. I think that's pretty good. And we're on the play. Yep, there we go, baby. Hell yeah. They play nothing on turn two. Um... Do we play a 1-1 one, one Death Toucher? Do either of these two care? No. And turn. I mean, I probably should have played the Warplow now. If he kills my Revenant, I can just bring it back next turn. And replay it. I should have played the Warplow. Disenchant, sure. Um. Oh. Altar of Dementia. Nice. Okay. So we play this. Play Altar. Immediately sack. Infiltrator gets bigger. Uh, next to combat. And in turn. That's pretty fun. We have four mana. We can just do that once a turn. What did he get? Recommission. And he's going to target what? Oh, scrap work mutt. Okay. When it ETBs, you may discard a card. If you do draw a card, I think they're just looking for their land drops right now. Which is a rough place to be. I feel them. Feel them real hard. A third white. Okay. Pass to attacker is my turn. Howdry inspector, hot damn. Okay. So if we play foundry inspector, um, we can just do this. I think play this again. Sacrifice this. That gets one bigger. No attacks. Enter. Prison sentence. Enters the battlefield scry to enchanted creature can't attack or block. Sure. Mill four. Take three. All right. No land again. S 
So I think we just play Foundry Inspector. Oh, the auto tapper boned me. And turn. Mine worker, sure. Tap gain of life. If you control, you gain three. Sure, sure, sure. I need some more land, please. I'd like to play more than one card per turn. Clay Revenant for zero. I like the sounds of that. Um, so we're going to play this for one so that they can't attack. We're going to play Revenant for zero. We're going to play Unwinding Clock. Um, we are not going to attack. But we are going to block with our Revenant and then sacrifice it. This has Unearth. Man, Unwinding Clock and Altar on the battlefield right now. And Foundry Inspector. We're in a pretty nice spot. We just need to draw one of those big boys. Destroy target artifact if it's mana with one or less. Okay. Um, so we're going to mill him for one. They have 18 cards resolve. Um, I think I take three and kill the. Oh. Actually, that's fucking great for us right now. We kill that. We play recommission. We get our altar back. Um, and then we hit them for three. 17 cards in library. We've only been milling them for like, I think four was the most we've milled them for so far. Obliterating Bolt. If that creature or planeswalker would die this turn, exile it instead. That sucks. At least we can mill them for three. Cindermaw. Okay. Um. We should play. I feel like Sentinel's not good in limited because there's not a lot of dual lands. So I think we should play Opportunist. Um, and Sentinel. And turn. Unwinding Clock untapped our Power Stone, which is nice. This guy's got Prot from Multicolored, so he's in danger right now. Oof. Deals four damage to any target. I mean, he should do that phase, right? I'm just gonna sacrifice whatever you target. I don't... Resolve. I need to deal with that giant flyer. 
Pass to attackers. Uh, I block. And sack. I need, I've drawn four lands this whole game. Oh, there we go. Right when I don't want another land. Um... So I can at least stop. If I take four, go down to six. I really need to draw something juicy. I could take eight if he has something that'll kill my revenant. Choose target opponent, destroy target land that player controls. Deals three damage to that player and one damage to each creature they control. I mean, that's super rude. Two and a black? No! I mean, resolve, I guess. To blocker, block there, sack. Take four. Go down to three. Oh man. Wait. What? Oh, it has trample. Did I take damage from it last turn too and I just didn't notice? That is embarrassing. Nothing to see here, people. Ugh. All right. We had something interesting going with the Infiltrator plus the Revenant combo. Ooh, we've got a Chromatic Lantern right out the gate. That's pretty good. Black and Revenant. Say go. Ooh, and a turn to play. Just kidding. Just kidding. We're not playing that on turn two. There's nothing to hit. Elsewhere flask, that's cool. Draw a card. Ornithopter. Nice. A dissident day. Why do you keep hovering over this thing? They all become swamps, huh? Target opponent reveals their hand, you choose a non-land card from it? I mean, take the lantern. What? Hello? Okay, that's super awkward. Um, I mean, they might just have a destroy artifact card in their hand, which is okay. Uh, I don't want to use comf a fight spell on an ornithopter. Power Stone Prodigy. Pay one, tap it, draw a card, then just so it's kind of like fancy Vohar. Aeronauts wings, sure. I mean, I'll use confrontation on that guy for sure. Six.
This battlefield is interesting with all the trenches and you've got Urza's mech down here and Misha's mech up there. Curate, nice. Love a good curate. I am empty-handed right now. I'm just top decking. And it's a swamp. Yeah, good choice, good choice. What does this guy do again? Artifact spells you cast cost one less. Okay. Full work, good. And it's another swamp. Okay. Okay. Take flight, sure. Whenever this creature attacks, draw a card. That's a good. Ooh. Uh, that's handy. Um, target creature, let's give uh, this target creature. Um, no attacks and turn. I'm gonna take another four in the air. I need to get one of those big boys. I kind of should be playing these swamps. Another curate. Does this guy manage to draft a mono blue? Ah, I'm not. Okay. I'll see yours and I'll raise you mine. Yep. Mono blue artifacts ish. Must have drawn more than one, or gotten more than one of the elsewhere class, too. Okay, we draw another land. Um. None of these really matter. I think I'm going to take the elsewhere flask, because they probably want to return that. I'll take that trade any day. Again. Man, this game is running away from me. I need the big boys, please. Where are my big boys? Another flyer. Great. There's nothing that important in my library. So they're putting something of theirs. And we get a small boy. Not good. Um, I guess we can start beefing up one of these. Play. None of this matters. Um, God, we need to dwindle. I can't attack with my Revenant yet. Double block. Go for it. Oh. Okay. I'm not getting any of my utilities. I've drawn a million lands. And they have a Depth Charge Colossus. Oh. Take four. They're not going to attack with their Swift Gear Drake. Odd. That's it. Drew another land. Drew another land. Um, I think I'm going to put... I'm going to put the prototype stuff back in. So I'm going to put the Goliath, the Golem, and the Warplow back in. Oh wait, we already have two Warplows. And I'm going to take out a opportunist and an infiltrator. Oh, 
I already got two losses. Having fun though. Still interesting. Like there's so much interaction and artifact crap. It's a lot of fun. Okay, we get two lands and four one and two drops. We're just missing a planes. I think we keep that. Play an infiltrator on two. Okay, no planes, that sucks. This guy's playing with the said McKinnon Dominar United lands. Clay Revenant. Oh, that's not green either. Um, okay. So if we get a fourth land, we can play on Winding Clock. If we get a Plains, we play Dissident and Mill them. We did not get either of those things. So, I think we're just mailing them. Hitting them for three. I could hit them for more. No, let's just hit them for three. We milled a dwarf dwarven forge chanter. Interesting. I think that forge chanter is gonna be really wicked. I think it's going to be pretty wicked. A 1-3 with prowess and ward? Whenever uh, another creature enters the battlefield, you... Under your control, target creature gets... Okay. And it has first strike? Okay. Chrome Lantern, baby. I mean, that saves us a little bit. Kill whatever he decides to block. Or he just won't block and take three. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Got another one. The audacity. So we can only play one of either of these. That is a 4-3 with first strike. Uh, no. Let's play our Dissident and pass turn. Audacity is like new Rancor. I don't know why you would give it trample and flying. Seems like a bit much. Pass to attackers. Go ahead. I take five. Ow. 
I take five. I take five. Mill you for two. Oh, God, we got dementia. So... I want to play dementia. I will grow the dissident, attack with all. Players can't cast non creature spells this turn. Okay, does that mean my dementia? No, okay. Attack all, hit them for everything, then. Sack my revenant, or sorry, mill him, sack my revenant, grow my infiltrator. Um, actually, you know what? Let's intern there. Draw a card, then you gain life equal to the number of cards in your hand. Two. Have two life. Take me down to ten. Pay two, Falaji Chain Dancer gains double strike until end of turn. Sure. Okay, it takes seven. Pass the first strike damage. Mill you for two. This is not moving very quickly, but uh, so we'll do my turn. Another dissident. This is going to gain me three life. Draw a card, gain two, sure. Interesting. Play a mountain, pass to attackers. This can gain double strike, pass to blockers. Pass to first strike damage. Question is, is do I mill them? Yeah. I think I mill them for three now. Make Infiltrator bigger. Uh, my turn. Get a forest, so we could play another dissident. Bring 
play Revenant back. Play Clay Revenant. Two triggers. I just need to find a way to gain life. Sure. Can't gain double strike twice. Blockers. Uh, sacrifice. Clay Revenant. Make my infiltrator a 6 5. cards in his library, so I just need to... Eight cards in his library. Oh my god, am I gonna win by mailing him out? Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this. Mill eight. Ah! We did it. Altar of Dementia. Hot diggity dang. That was fun. No wonder people like sacrifice decks so much. They had me too. They had a 5-3 flyer. I was on a two-turn clock. I've been holding unwinding clock for this whole game. Just managed to mill them out. I still had one turn to survive, but uh, took advantage of it. Got two wins. We're two and two, baby. I like the cheap prototype creatures. I think it's a fun little thing. Um, I don't hate this hand. We need different lands, but... Uh, Protection from multicolor. Okay, we got a swan. Good. Take one, baby. Could use a uh, planes, please. Raxo demon. No, sir, he says. No, thank you. Bitter reunion. I mean, discard a card if you do draw two cards. Pay one, sacrifice it. Creatures you control gain haste until end of turn. Throughout Pyric Blast. We draw another swamp. Yeah. So I think we play Golem here. We're 
we're not going to attack with our revenant just yet so having the unwinding clock doesn't really do much next turn it will if we can somehow get rid of the thraxo demon they're also doing like a sacrifice thing oh shit okay they're gonna throw out our unwinding clock our super powerful artifact. Oh. Okay. They are undervaluing the unwinding clock. Got it. They could just have a destroy artifact card. Gives all of our artifacts vigilance, basically. Trench Stalker. Alright. Still not attacking. Um. Also, they threw out the card we can't cast. That's super awkward to me. So, I think we play this. Makes a Power Stone token. We can't attack with anybody right now. Um, but that's okay. We can double block next turn. We need to do five damage. Dragon Engine. All right. We got another Revenant. Not my favorite. Whenever you cast a spell, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Ramos Dragon Engine for each of that spell's colors. Remove five 1-1 one -one counters from it. Add double Wooberg. Interesting. Okay. I mean, we managed to whittle them down to 10 before we had to stop attacking. For each of that spell's colors. Okay, so the spell has to be multicolored. That's one. A gorging war plow. We can cast for the full cost. Um, we still can't attack. Next turn we can, though, with the war plow at the very least. Clay revenants are nice. We can chump. I need something juicy, though. They've still got 23 cards in library, so we're not going to mill them. We need to do 10 damage somehow. They've got a 5-5 five, five flyer that they're just not attacking me with. They also have 2, 4, 6, 10 mana available. So they can cast one of the big boys. And they choose not to. Okay. I don't know why you would play any colorless creatures in a Ramos deck. There we go. You're going to attack with the flyer? There we, there we go. Nice. Um. Hey, there we go. I do not have 10. Um. Four, six. I have six. I can make a three, five flyer, though. Um, let's see how they block first. It's a straight up trade, okay. It's 
So I think I let them get in with Ramos once more. And hopefully I can find a combat trick uh, off the top of my deck. Oh, interesting. And we find a forest. Vigilance Ward 4. Okay, so we find nothing. Um, none of this stuff gets through. They have five blockers. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attackers. So two things can get through. They'll probably let the revenants through. I suppose they would have to double block the Goliath if they want to stop me from... Oh, sorry, not double block. Block with the Suchi. That thing has vigilance too. I'm just dead next turn. Yep, let the two revenants through. Take two. Man, if that land was anything but a land, I feel like that would have been decent. No, just attack me. No, just attack me. Why don't you just attack? Like, I know you want to play your fun cards, but... Just attack. Ugh. All right, well, draft one was fun. A lot of fun. I think we should do one more. We got an overwhelming remorse and one pack. Two packs. Oh, that one pack, that was from the Mastery. Yeah. So we can open some packs. Another Anointer, nice. Another Urza's Command, also nice. We got a uh, Dissident, a Battalion, ooh. That's a big bomba. I don't know why I turned into Jar Jar Binks there, but uh, felt right. All these big machines. A teething wormlet. That's going to go in the Titania deck.